Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt Dollar here, and I want to give you an insight as to what's in my bag now that I've switched to MVP Disc Sports. So I've spent some time learning the new plastic and learning the discs, the way they react to uh, my speed, my spin, and uh, through all this practice I have found some really, really awesome discs that are going a long way and uh, landing where I hope they'll land. So I'd like to go ahead and show you my putters to start off. So I am putting currently with the Envy, and this is the Electron Plastic. So I like these for putting and for driving and approaching. However, I throw them in a different plastic for basically all my turnover shots, all my hyzer flip shots, and even putting when it's cold. So this is the Electron Soft Plastic, and I've been putting with these for the last few weeks because it's been really cold, but I think uh, the transition into the medium plastic will probably be what I stick with. However, I don't think these will ever leave my bag, mainly because um, I really like the flight they hold. And there's another NV in my bag, and this one is Neutron Soft Plastic. So this disc, while it is the same mold as this disc, is quite different. This is my overstable putter, and I basically use it for throwing unless it's really windy, and then I might try and putt with it some too because it gives me that extra bit of stability in the wind. However, I do throw this all the time when I need any kind of overstable putter shot. So for the straight putter shots, I like to go with the Atom. So right now I'm throwing the Atom in the Electron Soft Plastic. So I've got the purple one I've been throwing um, ever since I started, and then I've got this newer one that kind of holds a straighter line and will hyzer upon the finish. But I feel like the Atom has taken the place of a lot of my mid-ranges. Um, I feel like the disc comes straight out of my chest and just goes wherever it's supposed to. It goes straight, and if I need it to go left, I just have to put a tiny bit of hyzer on it. It's just a very responsive disc. I don't know if I've ever thrown a putter or mid-range that was this responsive. And uh, being that way and how far that it goes, it's taken most of the mid-ranges out of my bag. But we will move on to the mid-range that is in my bag, and that is the Matrix. So this Matrix is in the uh, Proton Plastic, and I use it for very similar shots as the Atom. However, I use it for longer shots. So it goes a little further than the Atom, and I like to start it out left with a little bit of Anheuser, and it holds a beautiful right turn. And it won't ever really come all the way out when thrown with the Anheuser. However, if I throw it with a little bit of Heiser or if I throw it flat, it'll do a very straight shot with a nice left finish. So very handy mid-range to have in the bag. So that's all my putters and mids, and now we're gonna move on to drivers. So we're gonna start with fairway drivers. So the most overstable disc in my bag is the Fireball. Um, I really like the Fireball a lot. Uh, like the name, it's kind of like the Firebird. I'd say it's a little bit faster, but the production run, I would say it's more overstable than a production run Firebird. Uh, I really like these for backhand, sidearms, and overhands. This one I've been throwing since I first got the disc, and uh, it's a max weight. I think that it probably flies about the same distance, maybe a little further than the other fireball I'm throwing, which is a 150 class. So I know a lot of guys think that the top pros, um, guys that are 1,000 rated and above, don't throw lighter plastic, but I've always liked employing lighter plastic for certain shots, and I think this Fireball really, really qualifies as one of the discs that um, sees an improvement by throwing a lighter weight. It's a disc that, thrown backhand, uh, right-hand backhand, it's going to be incredibly overstable, but with the lighter weight, you're able to get it out there further distances, uh, but you still have that same reliable finish. Just because this is a 150 disc doesn't mean you, can, you cannot throw it into a 20-mile-an-hour headwind. You can all day, and it will still go left. So super reliable regardless of the weight. So a little bit less stable and a little bit slower on the fairway driver spectrum for me is the resistor. This is also the disc you're going to see a lot of thumbers, um, mainly because it's so flat. So this is probably the flattest disc that I've felt in the MVP lineup as far as fairway drivers. It's very overstable. Um, backhand, I feel like 
it's a very good mix between uh, the meat hook and the straight driver. So you're able to get that consistent straight shot, but it's always gonna fade. Very good disc to play with in the wind. All right, moving on, I have three volts in the bag currently. So we've got a uh, Proton Plastic Volt, we've got uh, the Proton Glow Eclipse, and we've got the Plasma Volt. Um, this one is my favorite. The Plasma Volt just seems to go wherever I want. It is a, an extremely straight shooter, and it even is good for little touch thumber shots. It holds a nice little pan when thrown with a thumber, which uh, is surprising because it's slightly straight to understable when thrown at high speed. So generally uh, a disc like this for thumbers wouldn't hold the pan as good, but these volts really hold the pan well. And I would say I throw this disc more than any disc in my bag, this one in particular. So, and then we've got this is just a little bit more stable than these two. And this one is a little bit less stable than these two. So I've got the full spectrum covered with the volt. All right, that's pretty much all the fairway drivers, but I have three discs in the bag that I would consider right in that in-between stage of fairway and uh, distance. So we got the Virus. Uh, this disc is a lot of fun. So this disc is basically my understable fairway driver, but it's actually pretty fast. So I think it borders right around what would be called maybe a speed 10. Uh, generally, I like to employ speed eight to nine for this slot, but this disc has the beautiful hyzer flip ability, whereas at the same time, I'm able to throw flat shots that will turn right and hold that turn, but they won't turn into a roller unless I throw them at a roller angle. So a lot of times with these, this slot basically is gonna be an understable disc that rolls too much. However, I find the virus to fly very good and very straight at low speed and then at high speed it turns but it turns without rolling over so the virus is uh definitely the disc i've been vibing with the last couple weeks and uh, i use it a lot at my home course which is super wooded super tight lots of hyzer flips and those other two discs that i feel like for me are right in between fairway and distance driver is the wrath so I've got the Wrath in two different kinds of plastic. This Wrath I actually got from my good buddy, Brian Gort, and uh, he used this one for a while, so it was already beat up. And I throw this like it's a fairway driver for sure. So when I'm in the woods, uh, tight gaps, it doesn't matter. Usually with tight gaps, I go to the smaller rim stuff, but the rim on this, it just doesn't feel like it's a high speed driver. It doesn't feel like it should go really far, but it does go far and it has a beautiful, consistent flight. Um, now in this Proton plastic, it flies uh, a little bit more overstable and so I will use it more for just hyzer shots. I think when I'm trying to flex something out, I wanna go with something a little faster and a little more um, consistent on that dump and that's gonna take me to the Photon. So the Photon is, it's basically like my speed 11, 12, 13, um, high speed driver, but super consistent. Uh, I basically am able to throw these on hyzers and they go forward whilst always going left, but I'm also able to throw them on Anheuser flex lines. Um, this plasma photon, I really like for throwing flex shots. So I'll put it on the Anheuser line to start and we'll hold it the entire way and then have a nice little flex finish. So the photon's getting a lot of the legwork, and um, I also have one more photon that's a little bit different. So this photon here is a fission photon and uh, this one weighs in at 164 grams. So this has the extra light core and then the extra weighted gyro rim. So I'm able to put this one out way further than the other ones right now. Uh, this flies way further than my other photons. However, it's good for uh, a tailwind or even a little bit of wooded golf because it's able to hyzer flip and hold a straight line. So if you get it out there in the wind and you're throwing against a bad wind, it's probably gonna roll over a little bit. But if you don't quite have the arm for a full out max weight photon, this is definitely a good stepping stone to get you there. All right, we got four discs left and these are all long range discs that I am still learning. 
So I would say my favorite of this group right now is the Octane. Um, the Octane is it's a really nice disc. It flies really fast, uh, really far. And one thing that's amazing about it is you can hit it on the hyzer angle and it'll just hold forever um, while still covering plenty of distance. This is also the disc that I like to throw my left-handed shots with the most. Um, I've definitely been working more on my lefty shots uh, this off season and I think that it'll be a big part of my game in the future. So the Octane is definitely a disc you'd like to try if you had the chance. Okay, I'd call this the Octane's bigger brother. This is the Teleport. So it's just a little bit bigger rim, similar flight characteristics. Um, if you don't have the arm to get the Octane flying on a left or right uh, movement, then the Teleport's probably gonna be a little bit too much for you because it takes a little more to get it over and get it on that S pattern. But this disc goes insanely far and uh, I've thrown it further than almost any disc I've ever thrown which is pretty insane. And there's one more disc in here I've done that with. So these last two discs are kind of my trick discs. Um, this here is the Tenacity and uh, is insanely understable. Uh, it is a big rim driver though, so you have to get it up to speed to make it that understable. The thing is, is if you don't have high arm speed or you don't get enough into this disc, it will have a hard dump at the end. However, um, when thrown at high speed, if you can throw this with enough hyzer, you can get this disc to go an incredible distance. Not only that, I've also found that you can throw really high shots that look like it's just gonna be a nice long anhyzer. However, the tenacity will hold it up there and hold that turn and you can turn it into a late landing roller, which is a really nice uh, trick to have in your bag. So the last disc um, we're gonna look at in my bag is the Energy. So I've been testing out the Energy and the Limit as my um, really overstable high-speed drivers. I've always been in uh, into a really overstable high-speed driver in my bag because I like to throw them on a big Anheuser like this. The one thing is, is when the disc has a bigger rim uh, and you have a lot of power or a lot of spin at least and you put it on that kind of Anheuser angle, they're generally going to just get that, once the weight gets all into the wing and you get all that spin and power, it just digs into the ground. This disc will never do that, ever. I don't think there's any way I could throw an Anheuser with this, even in a 50 mile an hour wind, 50 mile an hour headwind, I don't think I could throw an Anheuser and have this thing hold its turn. It is insanely overstable. And so for right now, it's almost considered a trick disc in my bag because I'm not throwing it on any normal straight up shot. But if you've seen my game, you probably know that I like to throw a lot of trick shots. So this is one that can definitely come in handy uh, for the time being. And while that's all the big Frisbees, uh, Mini Marker, Macro Tesla. Also, if you're trying to impress somebody, um, you pull out this little Mini and throw it 400 feet, people are gonna turn their heads. So furthest flying Macro disc there is. And uh, that's my bag. Thank you guys for watching.